Welcome back to Sin's Arcade. This is Lord of Sin. This is, game is Horizon Zero Dawn. This is the Frozen Wives DLC. Here I am fixing up my steed, you, which you can do with the unlock tree that Frozen Wilds unlocks. It's one of the perks that you can unlock with skill points. Clean up the field from the last uh, battles that I had. And notice that I have a bunch of traps out. This is kind of my go-to and is going to be my go-to when I'm doing the New Game Plus. Only because having a, just a field of traps trying to set up as best possible to herd and, and manipulate the battlefield is key. Especially when you're playing on higher difficulties. It doesn't take much because you're a very squishy, squishy little girl for them to, uh, or a very squishy woman, pardon me. You're a very squishy woman, you're a very squishy human, regardless, compared to these machines. And it doesn't take much. Um, here, this is me pointing out, Sins Arcade Presents, here is Rise and Zero Dawn, Frozen Wilds, Episode 3. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. We appreciate it. Here I'm surveying the area and trying to get a good idea. So I notice there's a bunch of frost wings. I know I screwed that up there. And I'm setting up. I changed my gear out into fire arrows so that I can start taking them on. I sped it up just because it's easier to do it that way. And see if they can goad them into coming after me. I do indeed goad them to come in after me. I was hoping to take one of them out so that I only had to deal with one instead of both of them at the same time. I was not paying attention close enough to my flank. And even though I'm kitted out for ice protection, I still do pretty bad. That one hit me from behind. Missed a couple of shots and get stomped. But thankfully, even with the uh, armor and the way I have it set up, for the frost protection and melee protection, um, it keeps me going. I should have healed though. Zoom in. The other option that you can do, I believe, with these guys, and I have to look inside the bestiary on them, is shock, shock damage. And the reason it took him that is because I got one, and he would burned off camera. Turning back. Recorded and played in HDR. I like how you can feel like you're Legolas or just an elf. She struts up like a boss. Oh, I see you're down, huh? Ooh, okay, let me help you with that. There, there. Now you don't have to suffer. Now, the map that flashed on screen briefly was showing where all the gleam points are. And that's what I was following at first. Fell down this hole and noticed there's something down here. So I was trying to investigate to see what it was. Real realized what it was and decided to be brave. This is why you should really scout around the area too to find out what's out here. Did not survey my area as well as I should have, and I was trying to be too courageous and paid the price for it. So I go back to the tall neck, and as I'm looking around and surveying, I notice it's a tall neck that is inside. And that's when the actual thing kicks in, the, the mission kicks in, allowing me to go around and search them out. And as you go through and scan each of the parts, then you get to see where they're at. And they correspond to three portions on the map that you can update with. There's the last part. And there is on the map where those different pieces can be found. I 
I start going after it, I know that I had a lot more to say on this, but this time I go back to my steed, get on her and him, it, decide whatever it is, and decide to start heading my wake my way towards the first uh, a waypoint on this entire mission. Notice there's a campfire ahead of me and a couple of enemies that I have to take out. Those enemies will be important, or that area where those enemies are will be important soon anyway. So now I set up a whole trap field like I have done in the past. I do like the trip wires a lot. Um, and I know that a lot of these traps I won't necessarily have available for me later on uh, when I start over in New Game Plus. I'll have to start beginning from scratch. So I have to learn how to mediate between them because there's some additional bombs you can leave on the ground too by running out there. Um, and putting yourself w potentially within um, eye shot, ear shot, being found out before you have a chance to fully set up. But I do want to point out, I do go to extent, I meant to speed speed this part up so it wasn't so lengthy. That's why I'm talking so much to fill the dead air. But now I set up and see if I can aggro and pull them over. Zooming in so you can catch them. These guys all get like, wait, wait, what was that? Nope. Can't get their attention. Missed the first time. And that, strangely enough, does not get their attention. So I'm like, oh, I knew there was another one over on the other side. Oh, on the left. Oh, he's down. They still haven't been aggroed enough. I realize, I think, that a lot of times the bombs, because of the parabolic arc, they may not always be able to tell where it came from versus... A straight bow shot. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is Lord of Sin for Sin's Arcade. See you in the next one.